Uh, so, Coach Poitras, great to be speaking with you again. Uh, yeah. It's been quite a quite a layoff. I, I have to imagine you've been counting the days. Well, we, we know through between ourselves and our sports information, we were at about 475, 476 days before we played Albany last week. So, um, you know, a year and a third, you know, away from that November 19 or November 9, 2019 date. You know, so, yeah, it's been been challenging. It's been uh, different for sure. It's, you know, uh, unlike anything we've ever seen. But, you know, we're really excited and happy to be playing again same time I do think it's um, maybe put some challenges out there for a lot of athletic departments sure. um, you know and put a lot of weight on all the teams are participating at the same time and and that's been a, a pretty heavy load for maybe like facility staff and sports information so um, and the administrators so all the work they're doing is greatly appreciated to give our kids a chance um, to have their season, which is really important to the student athletes, obviously, and the coaches. Um, so all the work that's being done behind the scenes by all the staff and facilities and administrators to make it happen is really impressive. So something I've been very curious about is, you know, given the layoff, uh, the disruption to the regularly scheduled season, um, and, and just the reality of life on campus, let alone in athletics with, with the COVID-19 situation, that 476 days, how did you spend your time? How did the, the players spend their time? What, what did that kind of look like? Well, you know, it was kind of it was kind of broken up into, you know, chunks of time because, you know, we were when we left here last year, almost to the, to the day. Right. It was like March 13th last year or 14th when we left last year. So almost to the day um, we, we kind of thought maybe there was like a three week or a month that we, we might be back at that point still. So let's go home and, and relax for three weeks, four weeks, and, and we'll see where we're at that in a month. Um, and then obviously that turned into, you know what, we're going to be home through the summertime. So, so it ended up being, okay, at first it was a month. Then we went to, all right, well, let's get through till June or so in 2020. And, and then we'll get prepared for our, our summer program, our summer packet for the guys and, and get, we organized ourselves to be ready for an August start. Um, you know, so things started kind of more moving along normally at that point, like, okay, we're getting ready for August. It's summertime, summer packet, guys are playing, um, guys are training and we're, we're getting ready for a fall season. And then obviously late June or July comes and, uh, the NCA and the America East decide that we're, you know, they're going to postpone, um, the fall sports until the spring. So now I was like, okay kind of a two or three, maybe a month long break for the guys um, to kind of wrap their heads around the fact that, you know, there was no fall season. And then it, what's the plan for getting the guys back was kind of the next step. So we got the international guys back to quarantine early. And then once we got this first semester, we got to September, we started September, October, and up till Thanksgiving, we, we got in some training. You know, at first it was small groups and then it was, you know, full team training by the end, a couple stoppages in there for quarantines and, um, you know, kind of choppy and broken up. But, you know, the fact was we were at least on campus together in training. So that was, you know, kind of the fall. We hit November, sent everybody home at Thanksgiving, and then it became a summer packet in the winter, uh, summer training time in the winter to get ready for the spring season. And so December, January, we're at home for all the guys. And then, you know, we did a, a, our, what we would do pre-season wise in February when we returned. So it's kind of been a, a year long of starting and stopping and, you know, pushing forward. But we've tried to keep the mindset that, hey, there's a, there's a goal in mind. There's an end, end result that we're looking for. Um, we want to get ourselves back on the field and give us the best chance to possible to be successful, you know, whatever that was going to look like and whenever it happened. And the guys have actually done a really good job um, maintaining some focus in these really challenging times uh, and, and, and being prepared. And obviously it showed a little bit in our first game um, at Albany last week where we were able to, you know, get a good result, a positive result on a, in a tough place to play on the road against a good, good team. Um, 
and they had already played a couple of matches. So that, you know, definitely was to their benefit. And for us being our first one, maybe the first half was adrenaline and excitement. And then the second half, actually, we had to actually perform and, and do what we were tasked to do, which the guys did a great job with. Anything that you kind of feel like over the last year is, is just uh, something you want to highlight as, as strong leadership or yeah. uh, people just doing the right things? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think we have a really good core of, of juniors and seniors right now where, you know, you're talking Nick Benjamin, Jordan Kadua, um, Pablo Basarte, Sergi, you know, Martinez and, and Tomer, as well as Nairik and, and Jovante. Rasmus, those guys are kind of really have stepped up and are leading the program. They want to take it a step further than, you know, last, the seniors from 2019. Um, obviously getting to the final, these guys are, are determined to try and, you know, set the program up for their first, you know, American East Championship and NCAA appearance in a long time. So they've been doing a good job of keeping guys on task and keeping guys moving forward and uh, setting the tone for what it's supposed to look like at a Hartford, in a Hartford uniform. Great. I'm looking forward to getting back in the booth and, and seeing you guys play. It's, yeah. uh, you know, obviously not nearly to the level you guys have been at, but I've been missing <laughs> some live yeah. soccer in a big way. So, yeah, you know, and I mean, it's funny because I get a lot of questions like, are, can fans come? Can fans come? And unfortunately, right now, there's no fans. Um, but, you know, I think everyone's kind of in that same boat. Even the fans are, are missing seeing the matches and being able to be out there in a live situation. So. Hopefully, you know, someday in the future here, we'll get back to that as well. But in the meantime, we'll enjoy the, the opportunity to play. Awesome. Well, thanks for spending some time uh, well, catching thanks, up Sean. with me. And yeah, we'll see you, uh, to see you on the weekend. Mm -hmm.